some help in the kitchen, finally. We didn't exactly volunteer. It's a requirement of our home economics curriculum, but it certainly will be fascinating to study the machinations of a junior high school kitchen. You can study them all you want, as long as you scrub them out, too. <laughs> <laughs> Brother and sister in the same class. You must be so close. Why did you have to take home economics anyway? I don't restrict my interests according to per se gender-based biases. What is that? That is the Edna Flow pressure cooker. Specially designed for heavy duty eye pressure boiling. The airtight lid is clamped down so as to keep the steam inside. Greatly decreasing the time needed to boil large amounts of generic cafeteria meats. Exactly. Today, for example, is boiled yak day. Yak? You've had it before, have you? <laughs> cafeteria food? Oh. I don't know how I survived it with my delicate constitution. You don't have to worry about your delicate constipation now, Phantom. What with me cooking delicious and beautifully arranged gourmet meals for you, and I know you appreciate it. Catch up! With a specially designed plexiglass window here, we can check to see when the yak is boiled to the proper rubbery consistency without having to remove the lid. You don't want to tamper with that lid. If it was to pop off at the wrong time... Boom! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> boom! <laughs> yeah, boom! <laughs> <laughs> the wonders of the ocean floor! A constantly changing, shifting and volatile environment with earthquakes, volcanoes, and hydrothermal vents, all related to a phenomenon known as plate tectonics. Things were fine when I was an only child. Look what he's doing! He knows how much that bugs me! Don't let him get you, Ruby. Some of us are trying to learn. Next, we will look at the development of submersible craft for undersea exploration, such as the very first submersible built in the 1930s and called a bathysphere. I have to share my parents, my holidays, even my teacher with him. It consisted of a steel sphere with windows of fused quartz. The sphere had to be lowered and raised by cable from a ship, and no rescue was possible if the cable broke. I can't help it if I was accelerated a couple of grades because of my superior intelligence. Now we have a little surprise! <laughs> a brand new saltwater aquarium! <gasps> But there ain't no fish! <clears throat> there are no fish. There ain't? There are fish! <laughs> One exotic fish for each of you to pick out and name before placing in the tank. Now line up in an orderly fashion. Oh, 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 I was here first! I was here two years before you! Ruby! Would you care to explain the problem to the class? Marcus is the problem! He's driving me crazy! But I'm your brother. I just want to be near you. I need some space! All right, Ruby dear. There's plenty of space for you. Right at the end of the line. They have no idea how lucky they are. They have no idea what it's like to be an only child genius, to have a solitary childhood, always alone, completely alone. But you're not alone now, Phantom. You've got me. With all due respect, you're a rat! True. Hey, I'll call mine Johnny. Very good, Johnny. He always has to know what I'm doing, even what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? <laughs> See what I mean? And you get the final fish, Ruby. A bloated bottom feeder. Boy, this is one ugly fish. It kind of reminds me of somebody. Yeah! 
That fish definitely looks just like... No, uh, he doesn't, Fred. Uh, it doesn't look like anybody. What are they talking about? Ah! <coughs> ah! 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 Kids. I know! It looks just like that guy! Uh, the short, fat guy with, with big, bulging eyes. Uh, the weird guy in the trophy case. Who's he talking about? I remember now! Ah! The fish looks just like Earl! Like Earl! Just like Earl! <gasps> like Earl! Like Earl! Any similarity is, is purely coincidental, boss. Isn't it not that there is any similarity? It, just a little around the eyes, maybe. Ah! Make fun of Earl, will you? Let's see if you think Earl is funny when you're all face food! a good idea to call Buford. I want him to look at my desk. It seems to be uh, warped or something. Oh, oh, how fortuitous! Now we'll have the opportunity to study marine life in its natural habitat. Binocular spectrometer, school blueprints, Marcus Mini Megamind, carbonated beverage. What are you doing? We don't know what Earl has in store for us this time. You've got to be prepared for any eventuality, Billy. Maybe excuse Mrs. Snodgrass, I have to... Oh. Never mind. Where's Ruby? Makeup, pocket fan, ballet slippers, 8 by 10s extra shoes, more extra shoes. You gotta be prepared. You gotta... Ah! Whoa! It's wanted space? Now you've got an ocean of space! <laughs> Yikes! Move over, will ya? This is the thanks I get for rescuing you? You didn't rescue me, Billy did. Now you two quit arguing. We have more important things to deal with, like this school of sharks, for instance. Maybe... Uh, maybe they're dolphins? <laughs> <laughs> Those dumb kids think they're being hunted by dolphins! <laughs> <laughs> dolphins! <laughs> uh, they're not, are they? Well, let's have a look. Large numbers of sharks are often attracted to the same bait and become a whirling circle of activity known as a feeding frenzy. Ah! Ah! Definitely sharks! Uh, apparently there's one hard rule concerning sharks. Never bleed in the water. That's very helpful. You guys better leave us alone! Because I've got a pocket fan and I'm not afraid to use it. Ruby, you should never... I know, I know, you should never have electrical appliances near water. There go the batteries. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Uh, that's my carbonated beverage. All right, who wants a piece of me? Come on, who's first? I want the biggest and the meanest. <laughs> Uh, I was saving that for lunch. Ah, all right. Don't say I didn't warn you. That's a powerful pocket fan, Ruby. Thanks. I had the setting on super blowhard. How appropriate. What did you say? Hey, how come we're picking up speed? That's the library! So the water's probably flowing down the main stairs. What does that mean? 